So I figured we'd do a little bonus review here since it's Christmas Eve and uh, you know maybe some of you are waiting for some new toys underneath the tree and uh, I know Five Below has been advertising like crazy that they're the you know the place to make your dollar go further so I couldn't help myself and ended up uh, checking out this uh, Hero Mashers Rodimus Prime and <laughs> my camera's having a hard time I hope that uh, when the video you see the video uh, you can differentiate the orange and the red a bit more. Uh, they are fairly similar in hue, um, but yeah, my camera can't really see them. So this is a Hero Masher, and I got it because, you know, I figured why not, let's check it out. And uh, it's Rodimus Prime. Uh, how often do you get a Rodimus toy? Now, I was a little bit surprised on this because they do have a knee joint here, uh, and what looks like an arm joint crafted in, but as far as I can see, that arm joint does not articulate at all. Um, the big claim to fame of a hero masher uh, is that you can pop off arms and heads and whatever else and you can put them on different things. So you could put like an Optimus Prime on a Rodimus head and or Rodimus head on an Optimus Prime body or you know pull off the spoiler and give it to him. Uh, I will never be doing that, so this is as much of Hero Mashers as you're going to see. Um, and I got to say, you know, I'm not impressed. And I know someone's going to say, oh, well, it's a kid's toy and all that stuff. But even a kid's toy could have put in one more piece of articulation on the arm here. Um, turn it into an actual action figure. Uh, and I think it actually would have been mostly okay. But, yeah, as it stands... It just doesn't look very good. The uh, the head sculpt is not, I guess the face is not terrible, but there's such a lack of detailing anywhere else. Uh, there's what, two paint apps, three paint apps, orange, uh, silver, or orange gold and the silver at four, if you count the blue. So yeah, I don't know, it's okay. Um, I understand the concept and maybe if I was a kid I would like it more where I can interchange parts, but it's not poseable, it's not very good looking. Um, yeah, see, like this is this is how I figured out the arm didn't articulate because I went to do that and it just all popped apart like that. And maybe that helps facilitate swapping in and out joints better. Um, I mean, you can pull everything off. We could give Rodimus a little stubby foot hand <laughs> and a a foot there and look if we do it there then we can actually go ahead and articulate Rodimus's arm how cool is that now he's got an elbow swivel I suppose um, that's probably the most fun I've gotten out of this toy all in all yeah it's not very good um, you know maybe some of you guys might end up you know if someone did shop at five below maybe you'll see your favorite character and whatever you know it's five bucks, but I really can't recommend these. Even the little kids, I just don't think that the appeal is there very long. Um, especially because there's no media drawn to, you know, like your Rodimus Primes and stuff like that. So how much fun is a kid going to have playing with a character who they don't know? So, yeah. So this is T2RXX. Just wanted to give you guys a little something uh, for Christmas Eve here. And there will be a review tomorrow. Uh, something much more articulated and something that transforms. So stay tuned. Have a nice holiday, everyone.